Up next on Good Taste, dig in to bright, colorful flavors grown fresh on the farm for your entire family. I didn't want my kids eating the stuff that was pumped up full of hormones. Then we're off to one of the best Italian bistros in Houston. Save room for homemade pastas, savory veal chops, and rich dark chocolate. Plus, one of the best known steakhouses in Texas is now cooking up delicious dishes at an historic spot in the Hill Country. It's the seasoning on these. It's that Peggy's seasoning. Oh my gosh. Good taste starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. Each week we road trip the state of Texas to bring you some good eats. We're going to start in Austin at an uber casual spot where $2 Taco Tuesdays are all the buzz. This place also has delicious comfort food and some amazing coffees. Lie by the drive-thru and feast on super fresh real food instead at Greenhouse Craft Food in Round Rock. It's awesome. Food is fantastic. Where they rock giant juicy burgers with house cut fries and roll with amazing entrees. Sensational sandwiches and garden fresh salads made even better with veggies grown just five minutes away. Food's great. You know, they're all about local. Affordable, hyper-local food you can feel good about. All natural hormone-free. Even the wine and craft beer are Texas-made. No time for breakfast? No worries. Greenhouse offers grab-and-go goodies like these light and airy beignets. Perfect for pairing with a terrific cup of coffee. Big pig. The big pig, absolutely. This casual, family-friendly spot makes you feel right at home. You know, it's super laid back. Um, people feel comfortable um, ordering at a counter, but still getting food that's high quality. I eat here three or four times a week. Easy to do with so many satisfying choices. Like these souped up shrimp and smoky cheddar grits with a drizzle of maple jalapeno jelly. A farm fresh egg adds some pizzazz along with savory bites of house-cured bacon and those crispy fried gulf shrimp. I add the tomato basil soup and the sticky ribs, so they're really good. She's talking about these finger-licking good sticky ribs. Locally sourced, house-smoked pork bathed in a sweet and tangy whiskey sarsaparilla sauce. You'll flip when you hear about their $2 Taco Tuesdays. This is our house smoked pork that we smoked for uh, 25 hours. Wow. And then we mix it with uh, green chilies. Hatch and some green chilies. Hatch, roasted hatch green chilies. Homemade coleslaw is piled on, along with queso fresco and a creamy chimichurri sauce. So this is our $2 taco. Yeah. This is a massive taco. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Hatch green chilies roll. This is awesome. Mm. And Greenhouse was developed because you wanted a place where you could get healthy, fast food, right? I just, I didn't want my kids eating the stuff that was pumped up full of hormones. I've got two daughters and we wanted to open something where we could get real food. Real food, real fast, from a devoted dad who also doubles as a roadie for his daughter's rock band. Half of my time is probably spent carrying my daughter's amplifiers and guitars around to all her. Uh, okay, so you're thinking so rock band. Kids. It is a rock band, but how old is she? She's 11, and, and she's the oldest one in the band, but they're good, they're really good. In his quest for good food for his family and the restaurant, Rob reached out to local farmers, and John Coronado came knocking in a rather <laughs> unconventional way. He would come to the back door with his car full of full of goods. And, and a Prius full of goods. This is yeah. not a pickup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah and I was like, ooh, I need to buy some of this so this guy can get a real farm truck. Nah, that. <laughs> Turns out John had recently left a tech job to start a farm just up the road. Now he manages greenhouse craft food and supplies all the farm fresh produce. 
So these are blue oysters. Chef Todd Engel brings those farm fresh flavors to life, like this hand cured pastrami pork belly appetizer, crafted to pair perfectly with a pint of IPA. In case you, we always see pork belly when it's cooked. It's like your ultimate slab of bacon. Yes, yeah, so it is, <laughs> this would be bacon if you cured it and smoked it. Curing is a seven day process. First, it's brined, then smoked, braised with beer, and smoked again. Oh, this this would like be that. bacon. <laughs> this would be Fred Flintstone bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll cut the hunks in, uh, you know, about ounce wise pieces. Those juicy hunks are quick fried, plated with homemade sauerkraut, beer mustard, and rye bread pastinis. Mm. Mm. So it's a small little plate that we put a lot of work into. Mm -hmm. We really, you know, that put our so hearts good. into. It's so tender. A big job with a big payoff in flavor. What Rob and Todd Engel have done with getting a basic, simple concept, but actually adding their twist, that flavor, that makes you come back is just amazing. You know, really, you can't go wrong with anything on the menu. Sometimes I come at night for tacos or for whatever their special is. It is that good. Delish. Coming up, a taste of home from one of Texas' top chefs. And it'll be a walk down memory lane. But next, Delicious home style Italian food where you'll instantly feel like part of the family. Cisco.